We are leaving America in 48 hours. Just sick of the bad customer service, the crappy people, the corrupt society. Yeah, it's just very unorganized here, you know? We're not gonna tell you guys where we're going just yet, but there is a lot to do in the next 48 hours. I have had the most hectic week ever. I got sick and then I had three different projects I had to work on. I actually just got done with an event today and I haven't had a chance to pack or run errands or do anything to prepare for my travel festivities okay so we are gonna run all those errands today we sold my car so you sold your car and you made a few thousand dollars unexpectedly thanks to this guy out of nowhere let me just say god truly loves me i mean just for sending him in general because he's like the wow. best man ever but also for sending me someone who's so knowledgeable about like real estate and business and and just the, the, that whole industry, like selling cars, getting a house, yada, 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 owning a business. I don't know shit about cars or shit about buying houses or shit about investing. I don't know any of that stuff. So God said, you know what? I got you. I'm gonna send this man to you. <laughs> so how this started is my lease was ending for my Audi and the car industry market right now is crazy and this is the best time to sell your car so instead of leasing another car the best option was for me to sell it and make a few thousand dollars profit out of it and here's the thing i'm still gonna have a car i barely use my audi literally in the past year that i've had my audi ever since i moved to california i probably use it once every two weeks Sam is trying to get me to join the tesla squad I don't know if I'm feeling Tesla's. So, Once you drive it for like one or two weeks, you're stuck with it forever. We'll see. So, I mean, it, it was a win-win situation. I'm making a few thousand dollars profit out of it. The car industry is like crazy as of right now, so it's the best time to sell your car. And I'm still gonna have a car to test out and see if I like. That was the other thing. I have no idea what car I wanna go with next, and I just don't have time to like figure all those details out right now. So all of that was going on in the past week with me getting sick, with me having all these projects on top of me trying to like balance my daily tasks and like shoot content and edit it and like put my content out there and it was just a lot going on when I'm leaving the country so here we are 48 hours before we leave the country and I'm gonna take you guys along the whole packing situation <coughs> excuse me hmm pardon <laughs> can you guys hit where we're going now <laughs> pardon ça va no ça va please That's not she. you're no gonna hear a lot of that baby get ready Anytime I hear him, I'm gonna she. smack the moon. No, smack the monsieur. Monsieur, either can I wish the monsieur. Okay, anyways. Where are we going? Okay, first and going? foremost, we are going to Ulta. I have a lot of things I need to get foundation, skincare products, makeup. You'll see how much makeup I get like once a month or so. I have to spend a thousand dollars. I heard you. No, maybe like five hundred. perfume ever all right mr. Bayes how much do you think this is gonna cost 200 to actually no more it's gonna be more this perfume is 140 alone my love this is gonna be 320 320 I say what is this contour shit it's the the, the th it looks like gothic shit it <laughs> I say 315. Yeah, we were both off. The total was 374.80 for what you guys just saw. It's expensive being a girl, huh? Maintain this. All you need is a two dollar cookie. You need a four hundred dollars a month worth of shit. Skincare and makeup, baby. Oh. All right, you guys. We secured the bag.
<laughs> with the music. Mm -hmm. It's old music. I know. Uh, it's for travel. Um, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, that's good amount. Yes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We went to Ulta. We went to the bank. We went to FedEx. We got a trade in my phone, my old phone at AT&T. New phone, old phone. I get $800 back for returning Seven this baby. Or $800. Seven to eight hundred dollars for we'll returning this baby right here. So it's worth it. And if you have an iPhone that's newer than mine, I have the iPhone XS Max, then you're probably getting like a thousand dollars off and pretty much getting a new phone for free. The only thing we have after this is going to Geek Squad because I want them to try and recover the damaged footage. You guys I have footage from when I traveled the world, literally Turkey, Greece, Lebanon like a year ago. And I finally sat down to look through the footage and it's corrupted. I transferred it to my flash drive and now I can't open any of the files anymore. And if I don't recover that footage, I am gonna be so devastated because I got a lot of good content when I was out there. Is that what you do? What? Take your ass like this. You walk. That's not how I walk, sir. Oh my god, the 0 0.5 feature is so clutch. Last stop, hopefully, is Best Buy because we're about to go into Geek Squad and hopefully they can fix the damaged footage. You guys, I'm so upset because we went to Geek Squad and they can't recover the footage. Also, we went to AT&T, they couldn't trade in my phone for the price they mentioned because it has like a crack on the back. <clears throat> so the defective footage, I just don't have time to try and fix right now. Honestly, that travel vlog might never go up, which is really annoying because I spent so much time shooting it and like I spent time away from my vacation and traveling to shoot content and that sucks. I was hoping to finish all my errands today, um, but I still have a couple that I'm gonna have to finish tomorrow. And I also have to pack tomorrow. I also have a lot of mail I need to unbox and we're just gonna get through it y'all. Tomorrow's the last day before we leave. He's tired. By the way, all the errands we were running were my errands. He's just amazing and offered to take me and go with me. He even like picked me up and dropped me off to my commercial yesterday, which was an hour and a half drive. And he also picked me up and waited for a few hours until I was done with my event today. So hubby goals and let's just say if he wants to, he will. And if he wanted to, he could have. I think that's the reference. Could have what? I love you, baby. It's a TikTok reference. Like, if he wants to, he would. He, like, he would do, like, he would treat you right. Like, he would, like, do the things. Oh. He's tired. Good morning, guys. I just got back from running a couple errands. I went to get COVID tested just to be safe because I was not feeling well throughout the week, as you guys know. And since I was overworking myself and had so many things happening in one week, I actually like I'm feeling worse today. So I went to go get tested. I did like the rapid COVID test where it comes to you in 15 minutes. Thankfully, I'm negative. So <laughs> that would have been another issue on its own. So thankfully, we are negative. I wish I had time to rest, but I don't because I leave tomorrow and I have not even started packing. But before I get to that, I wanted to unbox some stuff. I literally got so many things off of Zara and I got a couple of PR packages sent. So I wanted to unbox it together, show you guys like a little bit of what I'm bringing on the trip and so on. So I actually do not know what this is. So let's find out. Okay, so first package is from Andobel. I hope I'm saying that right, Andobel. But I'm super excited because as you guys know, I just got a new phone and they sent me a phone case, a ring holder, and a tripod. So perfect timing. Since I'm traveling, I actually will take this with me on my trip. It's like very functional and compact, 
which is perfect because the worst thing as a content creator is to carry a bunch of like bulky things around not only does it take space but it's also like really hard to like maneuver around. It starts out as this little tripod thing. You can actually remove this and use your camera on it instead. It not only extends like literally all the way up, okay, but it also, so you can use it as like a selfie stick sort of situation. You can open this baby up and use it as a tripod. That is cool. Should we do like a little ASMR? Um, that was a major fail, never mind. I literally was saying in my last video that I'm leaning more towards getting a clear case, and they sent a clear case. Perfect! They also sent a ring holder, and not only is it like a regular schmegular case, the best thing about this, you guys, is it can attach to any metal or non-metal surface. Even if I want to show myself cooking, I can like stick it under my microwave and like do my cooking and it would be like such an aesthetic shot. I'm super excited to use this. Thank you so much, Andable, for sending. This literally came at the perfect time because I go on my trip tomorrow. I do have a link and a 20% off discount for you guys. I will leave that information in the description box down below. All right, next thing I have is from Amazon. I ordered a purse because I have like a dressier white bag, but I don't have more of a sporty white bag. So, and I wanted something quick because I literally just ordered this like a day and a half ago. So Amazon is where it's at. I got this super trendy bag. This is so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Bottega bags. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect to take with me, you know, on my trip. One more thing. Oh! I went a little cray cray on Zara. I literally spent $700. I really don't think everything I got is gonna fit me, so I'll just keep what ends up looking good. But yeah, a huge Zara purchase. So many cute things in here. I'm so excited to try these on. First thing I got, this actually looks like a shirt and a skirt, but it's a one piece dress. Definitely my style. Next thing I got is this orange shirt with a choker up here. I love the color and the fit. It looks like it would fit really well with some like high-waisted jeans that I also got, okay? Hopefully they're not too big on me. It says it runs small, so I got a size bigger than I usually do, but the quality is pretty good. It doesn't seem too stretchy though. I love sets, you guys. I'm definitely a set girl. This is the top part. It's super classy. And then here are the pants. These are gonna look so good together, and I feel like I can, I feel like I can mix and match it with different things. I also got this dress. This would look really cute with like a white button up. And then for the winter, I feel like I can wear like a thicker turtleneck under this. Super cute. And then we have this yellow mustard color set. Here is the top. It's like a vest, a buttoned up vest. And these pants, which are super stretchy. They look very comfy. This is definitely like a comfy but cute sort of set. And then last thing, another set we have. This top right here and these black shorts. Again, what I love about sets is you can mix and match them with so many different things. That is what I got from Zara. My island is a mess now. So I'm gonna clean all this up. I do have to post about my event that I hosted. So I hosted an event with Shop Thing Live yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I do some events with them. We shot the event yesterday, but it doesn't go live until today. So I do need to put up all the stories and stuff for that. And then I really need to start with packing because it's literally 1 p.m. right now. And I leave tomorrow and I haven't started sheet, okay? I'll probably start by putting a load in the laundry. Let's do it. I wish I had more energy, but I don't. But I have to pack because I gotta go. Yeah. So if you guys have the shop thing app, you can actually see my full live. 
Um, there's a bunch of other shoppers and influencers that host events as well. For me, I did Jimmy Choo yesterday, but it doesn't go live until 1.30 p.m. today, so it just went live a few minutes ago. Um, and then if you click here, you can literally watch all of my stuff that I picked out. You can watch the full event right here. Okay. I am headed to trade in my old phone. As you guys know, I was trying to trade it in yesterday, but because there was like a crack on the back, instead of my trade in value being $800, it went down to $350. So, me personally, I would have been like, oh my God, okay. And I would have just traded it in for the $350. But Hassan, when I tell you guys, Hassan literally finds the best and smartest ways to do things. He literally found a phone repair shop that repaired the crack on the back for $60 and then I ended up trading the phone back in and the value went back up to $800 so he's so smart with that stuff if it were up to me I would have just traded it in at $350 to be completely honest I haven't even started packing yet and it's like 4 p.m. I've just been on my phone and procrastinating the only thing that's gonna get me through this is putting on a YouTube video and just knocking out the packing really quick. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, so Hassan isn't flying the same time I am because he has certain things to take care of, like with the restaurant and everything like that. He booked his ticket so last minute, you guys, he almost wasn't able to come because the restaurant is like a huge liability, obviously, but thank God that was taken care of, so he is able to come, but he's gonna be there a couple days after me, which sucks that we're not traveling together, but at least he's still gonna make it. <laughs> guys i stayed up packing so late last night but thankfully our flight today isn't till the evening time so i was able to just chill in bed and sleep in oh <clears throat> that's sour i do feel better today thank god i may not sound better but i do feel better i'm just having my apple cider honey lemon drink with water just to remove any leftover gunk in there you know what i'm saying and i'm also gonna have my mom blow dry my hair if you're watching this and you're like girl aren't you an adult can't you blow dry your own hair both my parents are actually hairstylists and they do a much better job at blow drying my hair than i do and they're a lot faster at it it'll take my mom like 10 minutes it'll take me like 30 minutes even though our flight is this evening we do have to leave in the next hour because it's all the way in lax i live in oc it's gonna be like an hour and a half drive and we want to get there obviously a couple hours before our flight so let's get all the last minute things done i'm gonna start off by doing my skincare before i pack it my skin is already super dry so i want to make sure i moisturize it very well i also packed like some moisturizer with me eye cream if you hear the air vents in here and the sound is kind of like echoey i'm sorry it takes like 15 minutes to turn off each time so it's the worst Okay, since I want to be extra moisturized, usually my day-to-day -day I just use CeraVe, but I am going to mix it in with this moisturizer from B Naturals that I received a while ago. See, it's almost done, but this makes my skin super hydrated, like super oily, so I'm just going to put a little bit of it and mix it in with the CeraVe. So we're going to do a pump of that and a, like half of a drop of that. I'm also going to put some sunscreen. This is SPF 20 from Skincare Cosmetics. I like this sunscreen. Obviously, you like this sunscreen, girl, because there's like nothing left. This is literally like going to be my last use of it. But I like this because it doesn't, I feel like a lot of sunscreen gives out these white patches and makes your skin super grainy. This doesn't do that. So I'm really just scooping out every little bit I have. A lot of times I end up using my primer as my sunscreen because my primer has SPF 30. So usually when I'm putting makeup on or if I'm like out of sunscreen, I just use my primer. 
Okay, one last thing I'm gonna use is Aquaphor. Chapstick just doesn't moisturize my lips for long enough. This is the only thing that really keeps them moisturized. So I just put it on straight from the tube, honey. Air vents finally turned off. I think I wanna curl my lashes just to give it a little bit of a lifted look. Brush out my eyebrows a little bit. And that is literally it. That is all I do before getting on a plane. Saying goodbye to the hubby, I mean for like two days, cause he's gonna follow me. But I'm still gonna miss him. He hasn't started packing by the way, but he packs in like an hour. It took me like seven hours to pack. It's gonna only take me like 30 minutes cause you're gonna be ironing my clothes. All I have to do is put them into my suitcase. Anyways, it's gonna take me, it took me like seven hours to pack because I have to like style the clothes, make sure they look good, accessorize them, and so on. All right, you guys, we are about to head out. I wanted to show you the airport fit. I've worn this in a vlog before, but this set is from Pretty Little Thing. Matched it with a black tank top underneath. So comfortable, which is what you need for international flights. And then I'm gonna wear it with these Adidas sneakers that Sam got me. These are literally the most comfortable sneakers ever. But let me show you guys really quick what's in my bag before we head out. So this is everything I'm bringing with me. No carry-on luggage or anything like that. Just this big old bag that's actually my everyday bag. But it is stuffed, you guys. Let's begin. The first thing I have is my little cosmetics bag. I have my sleeping mask, some napkins, cotton, and Q-tips. I got a couple face masks, some under eye pads, got a couple scrunchies, gum, lip balm, lotion, mint. This is micellar water. I obviously just put it in a three ounce bottle, but usually when I feel super dry, I just use this on a cotton pad. And then I put some CeraVe moisturizer in here as well. So I apply that right after the micellar water. I have some floss and some Q-tips in here. Hand sanitizer, got a mini little hairbrush, little perfume bottle, mirror, a couple makeup remover wipes. I don't have any makeup on right now, but this just helps your skin feel more refreshed. And then we have another mini moisturizing cream from CeraVe. B. So I have a bigger set of the adapters, tweezers, vitamins. I have a car charger. And that is it for this. Let's go on to the bigger compartment of the bag. I also have my wallet. I left most of my cards at home, but I just carried my cash, my one credit card ID, and I got my insurance. I don't know why, I just got it, just because, just in case. But all my other cards and little things that were in my wallet, I just removed. A charger, two pairs of headphones, my flash drives, um, I would have my memory card in here, but I'm using it right now, <laughs> vlogging this. I also have my laptop charger, a USB cable, and an extra charging box. I got both a pair of sunglasses and blue light glasses. I'm obviously gonna be editing and looking at my screen a lot throughout the flight, so these blue light glasses will come in handy and avoid any headaches. I got a couple pencils and a pen and a highlighter. I have this book that Sam got me a while ago. You guys, I'm the worst reader. I need to get better at reading, but um, I always bring a book on the plane and I never end up reading it because I get distracted with like editing and other stuff. But, um, you know, we're gonna bring this just in case. I also like tend to watch like two, three movies in a row when I'm on a plane, but we're gonna bring that. I have a planner, so I switch between like an online calendar and a physical planner, but the reason I'm bringing this is one, to take notes in, and two, I have my New Year's resolutions on here, so I definitely wanna sit and like reflect on the year so far. My laptop, of course. This to-do list notepad thing. My passport. Also got my house keys with some pepper spray, okay. And finally, my tripods. Obviously I have this camera with a mini tripod that I'm also gonna put in my bag. Oh, one last thing, I also have a travel pillow. This is a must, you guys. So I can hopefully get some rest on the plane. Travel pillow, super comfy. This travel pillow is so versatile and you can like twist it and like sleep with it different ways. That is it. We need to go. We are ready to go to the airport. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, four checked in bags. 
and a carry-on luggage with my bag. In case you're wondering why I have four check-in bags, Mama is traveling with me. The Uber just got here. We are waiting to board. I haven't eaten all day, haven't even had my coffee, so I'm starving. I got a spinach feta egg wrap, and then I got a lemon loaf, and this was supposed to be a brown sugar shaken espresso. I don't know how they misinterpreted that to this because this is completely off, but it's fine. I think the guy was new. So I had them remake it and this honestly tastes like shit, but we should be boarding in the next 30 minutes or so. And I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I know I haven't told you guys where I'm traveling to just yet, but stay tuned because I'm about to start another vlog right now. A very exciting one that's gonna go on for months um relating to the place i'm traveling to a lot of you probably already know if you follow me on instagram but that is it for today's vlog stay tuned for the next video to see where i am headed to hassan should be meeting me there in the next couple days i'm super excited and i will see you guys soon